Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a review of my newest bag. Um, it is a bag that I really wanted to find something for myself that would not be easy for someone to be like, Mom, can you throw me this in your purse? Can you put this in your purse for me? So this is the bag I'm doing today. Um, and it's taken quite a while to do this video because we've had several tantrums from a one-year-old who's sitting next to me, so you may hear her or see her at some point, and a few diaper changes, but we are finally here and I'm getting the review done, so yay for that. So this is the bag. Beautiful, beautiful little bag. It's perfect for what I was looking for. This is a coach bag. I, I just saw the name of this and I can't remember, so I will link it. Um, well, maybe not link it, but I will put it right over here and tell you what the name of this bag was. I got it at the coach outlet and I looked at quite a few things, but when I saw this, I was like, wow, I really like this. I love the brown. Brown's a really versatile color that you can use all year long. Um, and I'm a gold hardware type of person. I like gold in general. My wedding rings are gold, which I'm not currently wearing because um, they've got some prongs loose. So I'm not supposed to wear them until they get fixed. But I do like gold. It's just kind of, uh, it's, it's just really pretty to me. So this is a bag again. The front is a flap and it's got a turn lock flap here. Super easy to turn and open. The back is plain, no pockets or anything. It has an adjustable strap that is, I mean, decently long. Um, I am not a crossbody person and I've probably said it before, but this one I really like. And my problem with crossbodies is that when I'm walking or bending over at the stores or whatever I'm doing, um, they f just sling around like they <laughs> they fall forward and they kind of sling back and forth and um, or they end up being on your butt instead of on your hip. This one, um, maybe it's just where the setting is at on it, but sits perfectly um, just right in a spot on my hip where when I lean forward, it does not fall. It just stays exactly where it's at. And that's what I really love about this bag. Also, another um, thing I love about it that makes it versatile is um, these straps. Um, so you can take the strap off and just put it in another bag if you need to. Um, for like me, this is perfect because I carry a diaper bag or a mom bag pretty much 95% of the time because I always have one of my five children with me at least, if not more. Um, but I love that I could have my own purse in the mom bag, diaper bag, whatever you're going to call it. Um, and so it's easy to just take it off and throw it in there and you can just, you know, carry it as a clutch if you wanted, or you could do like I, um, like to do, I, love having extra accessories if I want to change things up on a bag. Now, this being coach, I would prefer to find a coach strap. I do have a coach chain strap I could switch it to, but that is silver hardware and I haven't been able to find anything with gold on the coach website or in their store. But I did on Amazon. I've had this for a while. Um, I'm going to set this bag down. I was able to find this strap on Amazon. Oh, like a year or two ago, and I'm pretty sure they're still on there. Um, and it is a gold braided handle. And if I really wanted to just toss it in my diaper bag and have it, so that way I could grab out something small for me, this strap goes on really well. And I think it goes really well with the bag itself. It's cute. The color of the golds are very, very similar. So I don't think that it will be too obvious that it doesn't actually go with the bag. So if you wanted a hand strap or a hand, a hand strap, <laughs> a, like a handle for your bag, 
instead of a crossbody, this is an option for you. Um, so I will probably use that at some point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this strap right back on here. Okay, so straps back on. So now I'm gonna um, show you, it's a kind of a close up. It's very, very, I think maybe understated and that's what I like about it. I do like the bags that have the prints on them or what they would call their signature, um, but they're not my favorite. I will generally lean toward a bag that does not have the signature print all over. I don't need people to know that I'm carrying a coach bag. I'd rather just have a bag that I think is pretty and I don't need it to draw attention. So I really like this one. If you look really close, I can't see if I'm in the camera. Okay, if you look really close, it'll say coach on the turn lock. And then over here, just a little coach leather tag. And that's it for it. Um, so you're gonna turn the turn lock and it's got this beautiful like felt, I think it might be felt. And the leather is like a really soft pebbled leather. Um, it's not so soft that I worry about it getting scratched up or anything, but it's soft enough and it's definitely not hard. So this is really super smooth. It's kind of like a light brown, almost like with a burgundy color. And this is the inside. It looks small, but it can hold quite a bit. So this is packed just for me. Um, my bag, you know, nobody gets to put their stuff in it. It's just for me. So I'm going to show you what I have in it because um, part of this review is of my new wallet. Um, I just recently posted a video of my favorite wallets and now I have a brand new one to put in that and I am absolutely in love with it. <laughs> so the first thing in my bag is this Coach card case in their new denim. It's so puffy. It's really cool looking with the gold hardware. Um, this card case was not this exact one, but on my favorite wallets video, I had a navy colored leather one. This is the same exact card case, except for it is in the denim. And that is just, just the little card cases. I've got a gift card and some cash, my driver's license. Again, as I said before, I don't carry a lot of cards. This is everything. This is it. That's all I carry. Um, it can get bulky if you have a lot of cash on you. And I obviously don't put coins in here unless it's in the moment where I've paid with cash and they hand me some coins back. Um, because I do have coin purses, but I don't carry them all the time. But seriously, how super cute is this wallet? That's the front. That is the back. And you can see all the puffiness. It's really awesome. It looks like it's really fat from having stuff in it, but it's actually just the puffiness from the denim. So that's my new wallet and that is what I am carrying with my purse and I think they look super cute together. And now I'm realizing that I have a jean jacket on so it actually looks really cute. Um, so that's the first thing in there. The next thing I have is some hand sanitizer. A mask, obviously. We still have mask mandates um, and that's okay with me. I have a fidget spinner because I get bored sometimes or uh, I need to fidget. I have anxiety and I love having something to do with my hands when my anxiety has gotten really bad. So I have this really pretty little fidget spinner that I like to carry in my bag and us, of course my kids get a hold of a lot. Um, I have just a pretty silver and glittery pen. And in the big compartment, the last thing I have is, as I've shown before, my planner, which is my favorite, again, because it looks like an old book. It fits into, obviously, some pretty small spaces. And it, i just realizing how pretty these colors look together. They're very similar. Um, but I love reading and 
it looks like an old book and I really love that. So that is my planner. And then, so this is what it looks like empty in the big compartment. Now there is a slip pocket. I'm not sure the best way to show it here. There's a slip pocket right here. And it's a very generous slip pocket. So in that, um, I have some gum. I bought these little two by three or something close to that packets, um, especially for the reason of carrying my small bags. I don't want to try to stick a big bulky. Um, you okay? <laughs> That's my daughter. Um, a big bulky like plastic case with gum in it. I don't really care for the strips of gum that have all the paper wrapping around them. So I just um, bought these little packets and I threw my gum in it and it's very slim and takes up very little room. So an idea for anybody who might need it. Some more gum. I've got some powder Tylenol for my daughter. Um, this is just kind of, excuse you, excuse you. Um, my daughter is 13 and she hates swallowing pills. Uh, she can, but she just really does not like it. So, okay, I'm gonna see if I can make it through the rest of this video quick. My daughter's getting grumpy. Okay, so the last thing I have in there are band-aids. Somehow um, we always need band-aids. We always need Tylenol, which is why I have my daughter's packet here. Um, and that is what I have in this bag. My review, my thoughts on it. I, <laughs> I love it so much. I do love all my bags. I am a big, big bag person, but it's been hard for me to find a crossbody that I really love that sits in a perfect way that's made me want to try wearing crossbodies again. And I really love brown. I. The color brown is just, it works for all seasons and it's so pretty. Yeah. Um, I recommend it to anybody who might be interested.